गाइज व्हाट्सअप सो वी कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन ऑफ जोग्राफी क्लास सिक्स साइंस जोग्राफी एन सी आर टी ऑफ क्लास सिक्स कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स मर्करी टेक्स द शॉर्टेस्ट टाइम टू रोटेट एंड रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन दिस इज रॉन्ग मर्करी टेक्स द शॉर्टेस्ट टाइम टू रिवॉल्व अराउंड द सन विच इज जस्ट लेस देन थ्री मंथ दैट इज एटी एट डेज बट नॉट फॉर रोटेशन जूपिटर डिस्पाइट बींग द बिगेस्ट प्लानट एंड द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट ऑब्जेक्ट इन आर सोलर सिस्टम आफ्टर सन it takes the shortest time for rotation one martian day is roughly the same as a day on earth so this is correct so answer here is b to only so mercury takes the shortest time to revolve around the sun 88 days but not for rotation and jupiter takes the shortest time for rotation earth takes 23 hours 56 minutes 4 seconds uh, to complete one spin and Mar uh, mars takes 24 hours and 40 minutes to spin on its axis so one martian day is almost the same as one earth day okay क्वेश्चन नंबर वन जीरो टू कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स ऑल द आउटर प्लैनेट्स आर मेड अप ऑफ गैसेस एंड लिक्विड्स ऑल द आउटर प्लैनेट्स रोटेट फास्टर देन ऑल द इनर प्लैनेट्स ऑल दीज स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट ऑल द आउटर प्लैनेट्स आर कॉल्ड एज गैस जाइंट्स सो दैट इज वाई एंड ऑल द आउटर प्लैनेट्स रोटेट फास्टर देन ऑल इनर प्लैनेट दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट सो आंसर देर इज सी बोथ वन एंड टू सो ऑल द आउटर प्लैनेट्स दैट इज फोर जुपिटर सैटन नैपच्यून एंड यूरेनस आर मेड अप ऑफ गैसेज एंड हैंस आर कॉल्ड गैसेज प्लैनेट्स और जोवियन प्लैनेट्स while inner planets are made up of rocks mostly and hence are called as terrestrial planets and all the outer planets rotate faster than the sun as they are farther away from the sun and experience weaker gravitational force of the sun question number 103 consider the following statements all the planets move around the sun in circular orbits this is absolutely wrong they move in elliptical orbits all the planets have retrograde rotation this is wrong venus and uranus have retrograde rotation which means you might have heard that uh, sun rises in the east and set in the west that is not true for venus and uranus there the sun rises in the west and set in the east so answer here is d neither one nor two so all the planets move around the sun in elliptical orbits and rotation from east to west is called as retrograde rotation and venus and uranus do it all the other planets have prograde rotation or earth like rotation and rotate from west to east question number 104 consider the following statements earth is the largest in our planet this is absolutely correct and it is the fifth largest planet in the solar system mercury is the hottest planet of the solar system this is wrong venus is the hottest planet of the solar system so answer here is a one only so earth is the largest in our planet and fifth largest in the solar system and though mercury is closest to the sun it is not the hottest planet as there is no atmosphere to trap greenhouse gases and being covered in clouds venus is the hottest and the brightest planet of the solar system due to its reflection and greenhouse gas effect Question one zero five. Consider the following statements. Saturn is the most oblate planet in the solar system. Oblate means equatorial diameter is longer than the polar diameter. Yes, it is more for Saturn than any other. Cassini is the first probe to enter the orbit of Saturn. This is also correct. So Cassini Huygens spacecraft was launched in nineteen ninety seven and arrived seven years later. Okay. So answer here is C. Both one and two. So oblate means equatorial diameter is longer than the polar diameter, which is more for Saturn than other planets. and cassini huygens will be deorbited in september of 2017 question number 106 consider the following statements latitude is the arc subtended by an angle at the earth center uh, this is correct the distance per degree of latitude is same from equator to poles uh, this is wrong it is flattened at the poles so distance is larger at the poles than at the equator 1 degree latitude means 111 km this is correct so answer here is c 1 and 3 So latitudes are arcs subtended by angle at the earth center. The distance from the equator to poles is ten thousand kilometers. If we divide it by ninety, we'll get one 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 kilometer for one degree latitude. But the distance of latitudes varies from equator to poles because of the shape of the earth. It is flattened at the poles, so distance is larger at the poles than at the equator. So answer here is C. Question number one zero seven. Consider the following statements. China has only one time zone. This is absolutely correct. North Pole and South Pole have no time zones. uh this is correct international space station uses gmt so this is also correct so answer here is d so all of the above so despite being vastly geographical extent china decided to follow a single time zone for unifying its country and its people soon after the communist party assumed power and since all the longitudes converge at north and south pole they have no time zone and research stations follow the time of their countries or from where they are set off and iss that is international space station follows gmt that is greenwich mean time Question one zero eight. Consider the following statements. All meridians are of equal length. Yes, this is absolutely correct. And all latitudes and longitudes intersect at ninety degree. So this is also correct. So answer here is C. Both one and two. 
so all the meridians or longitudes they run from north to south pole and they intersect with latitudes at 90 degrees so both these statements are fact uh, question number 109 what happens when you cross the international date line traveling from its east to west uh, so date will increase by one okay so just remember that so when you cross the international date line traveling from east to west so from north america to russia the day and the date will increase uh, by one and if you cross it traveling from west to east vice versa happens you date loss ho jata hai so just remember weight loss so west to east is loss okay so just remember that uh, question number 110 which is the only continent without deserts so the only continent without desert is europe australia has lot of deserts north america has lot of deserts south america has lot of deserts europe does not have deserts australia is almost desert only Great Basin, Sonoran, Mojave are deserts of South America. Atacama, Patagonia are deserts of South America. Okay. Uh, question number one one one. Consider the following statements. During equinox, days and nights are equal throughout the world. Uh, yes, this is correct. So this is absolutely correct. During equinox, circle of illumination cuts through the poles. So this is also correct. So answer here is C. Both one and two are correct. So during equinox, sun is overhead at the equator and making days and nights equal throughout the world. And since circle of illumination is a line that divides days and nights, it will cut through the poles during equinox, as poles are not inclined towards the sun during this time. Question one one two. Consider the following statements about international date line. It passes through the Pacific Ocean. This is absolutely correct. It deviates away from the normal one eighty degree meridian. This is also correct. So answer here is C. Uh, both one and two. So international date line passes through the Pacific Ocean and it deviates so as to. they include lot of islands and countries okay so they do this uh, the similar country or island do not have different day and date at a singular time question 113 consider the following statements narmada flows between vindhyas and satpuras this is correct narmada and tapti rivers flows from west to east uh, this is wrong uh, narmada and tapti are west flowing rivers so they will flow from east to west and they will drain into the arabian sea most peninsular rivers will flow from west to east and will drain into bay of bengal so answer here is a one only so narmada flows through the rift valley between vindhyas and satpura and narmada and tapti are west flowing rivers which means they flow from east to west and drain into the arabian sea uh, question 114 the shallowest of the world's ocean is so answer is arctic ocean so arctic ocean is shallowest means it has the least depth Question number one one five. Consider the following statements. Arctic Ocean is located within the Arctic Circle. This is absolutely correct. Arctic Ocean is connected with the Atlantic Ocean through the Beaufort Sea. Uh, this is wrong. Uh, Labrador Sea is there, so that is the answer. Answer is A, A one only. So Arctic Ocean is located within the Arctic Circle, and it is connected to the Atlantic Ocean through Greenland Sea and Labrador Sea, and it includes Beaufort Sea as this part. Question number one one six. Arrange the rivers in north to south direction. So you have Jhelum, northernmost. Then you have Chenab. Then you have Ravi. Then you have Satluj. So answer here is one, three, four, and two. So if you look at the map of Punjab, so you will find it. The answer here is C. Rivers from north to south are Jhelum, Chenab, Ravi, and Satluj. Question number one one seven. Consider the following pairs. Deepsang plains are in Jammu and Kashmir. So first is wrong. Utkal plains are in Odisha. So second is correct. So answer here is B two only. So Deepsang plains are in Jammu and Kashmir along the line of actual control, and Utkal plains are in Odisha. Question number one one eight. Which of the following processes forms the mountains? Volcanic eruption hundred percent leads to mountain formation. Folding also leads to mountain formation. Both these processes can lead to mountain formation. Answer is C. Both one and two. So volcanic eruption causes molten lava to harden on the surface and form the volcanic mountains. Example: Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. And folding of rocks forms the fold mountains like the Himalayas. Question number one one nine. Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh receive rains mostly during. So they receive may rains mostly during the retreating monsoon season. So answer here is B two only. So Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh receive rains during autumn or retreating monsoons when winds move from the mainland to the Bay of Bengal. So answer here is B. Uh, question number one twenty. Arrange the following cities in north south direction. So Agartala is the northernmost city. Uh, then you have Gandhi Nagar. Okay. Then you have Kolkata. So answer here is three one two. So if you look at India's map, you'll find this. And these are very common question which you basically ask by the way. Arrange the following cities, etc. 
सो द करेक्ट सीक्वेंस ऑफ द सिटीज़ इन नॉर्थ साउथ डायरेक्शन इंक्लूड्स अगरतला गांधीनगर एंड कोलकाता क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ट्वेंटी वन द हॉट एंड ड्राइवेंट्स विच ब्लो ओवर द प्लेन्स ऑफ इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान स्पेशली राजस्थान दिल्ली बेल्ट एंड सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज लू ओके सो हॉट एंड ड्राइवेंट्स हैव डिफरेंट नेम्स इन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड चिनूक इन दी रॉकी माउंटेन्स इन नॉर्थ अफ्रीका फो इन ओवर एल्प्स एंड नॉर्थ इटली लू इन इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान पाकिस्तान एंड खामसिन इन इजिप्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ट्वेंटी टू अरेंज द फॉलोइंग सिटीज इन द ईस्ट वेस्ट डायरेक्शन सो द ईस्टर्न मोस्ट सिटी हेयर इज ऑब्वियसली अमंग दीज थ्री आर लखनऊ देन यू हैव हैदराबाद एंड फाइनली द वेस्टर्न मोस्ट एयर इज बैंगलोर सो आंसर एयर इज बी थ्री वन टू सो यू नीड टू हैव अ बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ इंडियाज मैप सो द ईस्टर्न मोस्ट सिटी इज लखनऊ देन यू हैव हैदराबाद एंड बैंगलोर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ट्वेंटी थ्री कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स शूटिंग स्टार इज अ मीटोराइड दैट एंटर दी अर्थ सर्फेस यस इट इज नथिंग टू डू विद स्टार लोनार लेक इज लोकेटेड इन अ क्रेटर सो यस दिस इज करेक्ट सो आंसर इज सी बोथ वन एंड टू सो मीटोराइड्स आर रॉकी बॉडीज इन सोलर सिस्टम एंड वैन मीटियोर रॉइड एंटर्स दी अर्थ सर्फेस इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ मीटियोर एंड वैन मीटियोर हिट्स द अर्थ सर्फेस इट इज कॉल्ड एज अ मीटियोर राइट सो मीटियोर रॉइड is which rocky body in the solar system when they enter the earth surface they are called as meteor or shooting star and when meteor hits hit so just remember meteorite hit so craters are deformations formed by meteorites and water can fill such depression to form lakes for example lonar lake in buldana district in maharashtra question number 124 consider the following statements half of the mass of earth's atmosphere lies in troposphere yes so if you go beyond troposphere the atmosphere is really really thin the height of tropopause varies over equator and poles this is absolutely correct so our equator it can be up to like for 10 to 18 kilometers at, and poles it is just 10 kilometers so answer here is c both 1 and 2 so troposphere is the layer closest to the earth surface it contains particulate matter moisture dust etc and hence it is very massive and due to differential heating at the equator and at the poles the height of tropopause is greatest over the equator and lowest at the poles question number 125 last for this lesson consider the following statements there are deltas on the western and eastern coastal plains so this is wrong western coast and eastern coast have natural harbors so this is also wrong so there are no deltas on the western coast as they are narrow and steep and do not help in delta formation hence they are natural harbors while the slope is gradual in eastern coast which enables delta formation and harbors are made artificially so we'll continue our lesson thank you for watching this Hey guys what's up so this is question number 126 from which of the following countries do the prime meridian pass through france spain algeria so prime meridian passes through all these three countries so answer here is d all of the above so prime meridian passes through these countries please remember their name as far as possible uk france spain algeria then algeria is in africa mali burkina faso togo ghana all these are in africa Ashantila, uh, Shantiland Peninsula, Queen Maud Land in Antarctica. So answer here is D. Uh, question number one twenty seven. Consider the following statements. Okay, sketches and plans are drawn to scale. Uh, a sketch is drawn mainly based on memory, spot observation. They are not to scale. While a plan is a drawing of a small area on a large scale. It is drawn to scale. So first is wrong. A plan is based on memory. This is also wrong. So answer here is D. Neither one nor two. So sketches is based on memory. They are not on scale. While plan is a drawing of a small area on a large scale, which is drawn to a scale. Scale means like this means this much distance is the same as this much distance, which is equal to some value. Question number one twenty eight. Consider the following statements. All meridians of longitude form the great circles. This is absolutely correct. Equator is the only latitude that is a great circle. That is also correct. So answer here is C. Both one and two. So uh, longitudes are like this. Okay. So every one of them is a great circle. so great circle is one that pass through the circumference of the earth and can divide the earth into two equal halves so all meridians of longitude are semi circles or half of a great circle equator is the only latitude that is great circle rest all are smaller uh, question number 129 with reference to commerce which is the busiest ocean so busiest ocean is atlantic ocean because it connects the four most uh, uh, like important earlier there were a lot of trade which is going on For last three hundred years, between North America, South America, Europe, and Africa, so it is the busiest ocean. So Atlantic Ocean is the busiest ocean with reference to commerce because of its natural harbors and its linkages to North, South America, Europe, and Africa. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थर्टी कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द एटमोसफेयर इज मेड अप ऑफ नाइट्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन यस दिस इज एब्सोल्युटली करेक्ट सी ओ टू इज द थर्ड मोस्ट अबेंडेंट गैस इन दर्स एटमोसफेयर दिस इज रॉन्ग बिकॉज पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट इज ऑलमोस्ट आर्गन सो नाइन्टी नाइन पॉइंट नाइन परसेंट इज नाइट्रोजन ऑक्सीजन एंड आर्गन सो आंसर एयर इज ए सी ओ टू इज नॉट द थर्ड मोस्ट अबेंडेंट गैस सो एटमोसफेयर इज कम्पोज ऑफ सेवेंटी एट परसेंट नाइट्रोजन ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट ट्वेंटी वन परसेंट ऑक्सीजन विच मेक्स Out of the remaining percent, argon is the most abundant gas or the third most abundant gas in the Earth's atmosphere. Uh, question number one three one. Through which of the following countries Ural Mountains pass through? Uh, Russia is yes, Kazakhstan is yes, but Finland and Belarus are no. So answer here is C one and three. Uh, so Ural Mountains, which forms the natural divide between Europe and Asia, they will pass through Russia and Kazakhstan only. Question number one thirty two. Gulf of Eden is located. It's a very very famous place between Somalia and Yemen. So answer here is A. So you should watch out these uh, location on uh, maps because these are the direct question which are asked in exam. So answer here is A. So Gulf of Eden is a Gulf which is located in the Arabian Sea. Uh, Yemen is in Middle East and Somalia is in Africa, Horn of Africa. Okay. So just remember these things. Uh, it helps a lot. So a lot of people ask me which are the four countries in Horn of Africa. Answer is Seed S E E D. Uh, just remember Somalia, Eritrea, Ethiopia, and Djibouti. D is for Djibouti. Kenya is not traditionally considered the part of it. Question number one thirty three. Consider the following statements. Large scale map show large area in great detail. This is absolutely wrong. They show small areas in great detail like maps of villages. And small scale maps will show large areas in less detail like maps in atlas. So answer here is D. Neither one nor two. So small scale maps will include large areas, and large scale maps will include small areas. So answer here is D. So large scale maps show small areas in great detail, like a map of a village in paper, and small scale maps show large areas in less detail, like maps in an atlas. Question number one thirty four. River Nile drains into which of the following? So here the answer is river Nile drains into the Mediterranean Sea. Okay. It originates in Burundi, which is south of the equator. Flows northwards through northeastern Africa, and eventually it flows through Egypt, where it is like considered the cradle of civilization for last five six thousand years. And finally, it drains into the Mediterranean Sea. Question number one thirty five. Luzon Island is a part of, so it is a part of Philippines. So Mount Mayon, which is an active volcano, is located in the Luzon Island in the Philippines. So that is why it is famous. Question number one thirty six. Consider the following statements. North line is a line that marks the north direction. Uh, this is wrong. North line is an arrow with the letter N written on top right corner, which marks the north direction. Okay. And there are four cardinal points on a map. Uh, so this is correct. So four cardinal points will indicate the directions. That is north, east, west, and south. So answer here is B two only. So north line is an arrow with an letter N written on top right corner, which marks the north direction. And four cardinal points are news that is north east south west. Malacca Strait connects. Malacca Strait is again a very very important shipping lane which connects Indian Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. So answer here is A. Very very important. Okay, lot of major harbors and ports are located on this Malacca Strait. So it is one of the important shipping lanes of the world and connects Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean. Question number one thirty eight. From which of the following countries do the Arctic Circle pass through? It passes through all these countries, so it includes other countries as well. So I'll list down the all the countries: Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia, USA through Alaska, Canada, Denmark through Greenland, and Iceland. So these are the countries through which Arctic Circle pass through. Consider the following pairs: Great Sandy Desert is in Australia, hundred percent correct. Kala Hari Desert is in Botswana. And some part is there in Namibia also. Namib Desert is also there in Namibia. Takla Magan is in there in China. This is correct. So answer here is D. All these statements are correct. So all the given pairs are correct. Great Sandy Desert is in Australia. Kala Hari Desert is in Botswana, which is in Southern Africa, and Takla Magan is in China. Question number one forty. Caspian Sea is the largest salt water lake in the world. This is correct. It is located between Europe and Asia. This is also correct. So answer here is C. Both one and two. Uh, so Caspian is the largest salt water lake in the world, and it is located between Europe and Asia. So both these statements are absolutely correct. Question number one forty one: Which of the following rivers forms the Great Lakes of USA? So they are called as Holmes. Just remember this mnemonic: Holmes. H is for uh, Huron. O is for Ontario. M is for Michigan. 
E is for airy and S is for superior. So you can just remember Holmes. So answer will be here C one two four. Winnie Peck is not there. So Holmes, you have to remember. H is for Huron. O is for Ontario. M is for Michigan. E is for airy and S is for superior. And these lakes are there like between Canada and USA border. Question number one forty two. Consider the following pairs. Angel Falls is in Orinoco River. Yes, Angel Falls are the highest waterfalls in the world on Orinoco River in South America, and Victoria Victoria Falls are in Zambezi River in Africa. So this is wrong. So Angel Falls are the world's highest uninterrupted waterfalls from almost one kilometer on top. So answer here is A, one only. So Angel Falls are the world's highest uninterrupted waterfall in the world on Orinoco River in South America, and Victoria Falls are on Zambezi River in Africa. Uh, question number one forty three. Which of the following constitute Latin America? South America is there. Yes, Mexico, Central America, West Indies. All these are Latin America. So answer here is D. All these constitute South America, Mexico, most of the Central America and West Indies, Caribbean islands together. It makes up the Latin America. Question number one forty four. Which of the following planet has the great red spot within its atmosphere? So if you see Jupiter's map, you will find a great red spot, which is a permanent cyclone. And which is always there, and it is called as a great red spot. It is a within its within its atmosphere. So if you see any Jupiter's photo, you will find this a big red spot like this. Question number one forty five. Arakanioma mountain range runs through India. Definitely Myanmar, yes, but Indonesia is not there. So answer here is A. So basically, it is like an S shaped this something like this. So it is the most prominent of a series of parallel ridges that runs through Assam, Nagaland, Mizoram, and Myanmar. The Arakan Mountains run from Cape Negris in the south into the Manipur state of India in the north. They include Naga Hills, Chin Hills, Patkai Range, which includes the Lushai Hills. And these mountains are submerged in the Bay of Bengal for a sufficiently long stretch. And they are they also form the Andaman and Nicobar Islands when they come out of the water. Question number one forty six. Which of the following rivers forms the natural boundary between USA and Mexico? This is a very important question. Answer is Rio Grande. So Rio Grande River forms the natural boundary between the USA and Mexico. Uh, which of the following is the least dense planet? So I have already spoken a lot. So if you find a large enough ocean, so Saturn will float on it because it is the least dense planet and the density is even less than the water. So answer here is C. Saturn. Saturn is the least dense planet in the entire solar system. Question number one forty eight. Which of the following would give the shortest distance between two places from north to south? So shortest distance will be along a longitude, not latitude, because it is talking about north to south. So answer here is B two only. Okay. Question number one forty nine. Rotation is fastest along the equator. So this is absolutely correct. So you have to remember that different parts of the Earth rotate at a different pace, and rotation is fastest along the equator. This is due to the geoid shape. So Earth is neither sphere, nothing like that. So it is a geoid. It's Earth-like space, Earth-like shape. Which bulges at the equator and flattens at the poles. So the distance for one rotation is greater at the equator than at the poles. But since the time is same, so speed of rotation is greater along the equator. Question number one fifty. Last question for this lesson. Consider the following statements. Map show the actual distance on ground. Yes, they do show. Small scale maps give more information than large scale map. This is a common misconception among laymen. This is wrong. So answer here is A one only. So small scale shows large areas in less details, and large scale map shows small maps in great detail. Hence, the large scale maps are more informative than the small scale maps. So thank you for watching this lesson. Have an awesome day. Hey guys, what's up? So let us discuss the class sixth uh, geography and CRT MCQs. Consider the following pairs: Morning Star is Venus. This is correct. Red planet is Mars. This is also correct. So answer here is C, both one and two. So Venus can be seen a few hours before the sunset. It can be seen after the sunset. Since it is seen before the sunset, it is called as morning star, uh, sunrise. Sorry. And since it can be seen after the sunset, so it is also called as evening star. And Mars appears red because of the rusty color of its soil. Hence, it is also called as a red planet. Question number one fifty two. Consider the following statements. Comets are rocky bodies with lots of ice. Yes, this is correct. Comets have definite orbits around the sun. This is also correct. So answer here is C. Both one and two. So comets are rocky bodies with ice, which releases gas as they travel close to the sun, and the tail of the comet points away. And tail happens because a lot of evaporation happens because of the sun's heat, solar winds. Comets have definite orbits around the sun. This is also correct. So answer here is Halley's comet, which appears every seventy-six years. So this is there. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिफ्टी थ्री कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स पंपास इज इन अर्जेंटीना दिस इज करेक्ट प्रेरीज आर इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट सो आंसर एर सी बोथ वन एंड टू सो ग्रास लैंड इन डिफरेंट एरियाज टेक डिफरेंट नेम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल पंपास इज इन अर्जेंटीना प्रेरीज इन नॉर्थ अमेरिका डाउंस इज इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया स्टेपीज एशिया वेल्ड एफ्रीका एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा लॉट ऑफ अदर्स आर ऑल्सो देयर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिफ्टी फोर विच आर द फॉलोइंग द हॉटेस्ट प्लेस इन दी वर्ल्ड नो मेनी पीपल थिंक अल अजीजिया एंड डीबिया हेज फिफ्टी एट डिग्री सेल्सियस विच इज द हॉटेस्ट प्लेस इन दी वर्ल्ड बट दिस वॉज कंसिडर्ड रॉन्ग एंड इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व डेथ वैली इन कैलीफोर्निया विच इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली फिफ्टी सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर सो नाउ दैट इज कंसिडर्ड एज द हॉटेस्ट प्लेस इन द एंटायर वर्ल्ड सो आंसर एर इज सी सो जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिफ्टी फाइव विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द नियरेस्ट स्टार टू द सन सो ऑल दीज थ्री अल्फा सेंटोरी वन अल्फा सेंटोरी बी प्रॉक्सिमा सेंटोरी ऑल दीज आर वेरी क्लोज टू द सन बट प्रॉक्सिमा सेंटोरी इज द क्लोजेस्ट अमंग दीज थ्री सो प्रॉक्सिमा सेंटोरी इज द क्लोजेस्ट स्टार टू द सन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिफ्टी सिक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंडीशन आर टू बी सेटिस्फाइड फॉर अ डॉर्फ प्लानट रीड इट केयरफुल इट इज आस्किंग फॉर अ डॉर्फ प्लानट मास इनफ टू अज्यूम अ न्यूअरली राउंड शेप हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट शुड नॉट बी अ मून हंड्रेड परसेंट करेक्ट हैज क्लियर द नेबरहुड अराउंड इट्स ऑर्बिट सो दिस इज अ डेफिनेशन फॉर प्लानट नॉट अ डॉर्फ प्लानट सो इवन इफ यू हैव नॉट क्लियर द नेबरहुड यू विल स्टिल बी कंसिडर डॉर्फ प्लानट सो आंसर एर इज ए वन एंड टू सो इंटरनेशनल एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल यूनियन विच सेट डेफिनेशन फॉर प्लानटरी साइंस सेट्स दी फॉलोइंग कंडीशन फॉर अ डॉर्फ प्लानट इट शुड ऑर्बिट द सन इट शुड हैव इनफ मास टू अज्यूम अ नियरली राउंड शेप इट हैज नॉट क्लियर द नेबरहुड अराउंड इट्स ऑर्बिट एंड इट इज नॉट अ मून क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिफ्टी सेवन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर आइडेंटिफाइड एज डॉर्फ प्लानट्स इन आर सोलर सिस्टम सेरीज प्लूटो मेक मेक ऑल दीज आर डॉर्फ प्लानट्स अलॉन्ग विद प्लूटो एंड होमिया एंड एरीज सो आंसर एर इज डी ऑल ऑफ द अबव सो सेरीज प्लूटो होमिया मेक मेक एंड एरीज दीज आर द डॉर्फ प्लानट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू आई ए यू फोबोज एंड डीमोज आर नेचुरल सेटेलाइट्स ऑफ सो दीज आर द टू मून्स ऑफ मार्स सो आंसर एर इज ए सो मार्स इज ओनली टू मून्स और नेचुरल सेटेलाइट्स दे आर कॉल्ड एज फोबोज एंड डीमोज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन फिफ्टी नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट आईलैंड सो आंसर एर इज ग्रीन लैंड सो ग्रीन लैंड इज द वर्ल्ड्स लार्जेस्ट आईलैंड एंड इट इज पार्ट ऑफ द डेनमार्क क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स क्वीन मॉड रेंज डिवाइड्स एंटार्टिका इंटू टू इक्वल हाफ्स दिस इज करेक्ट माउंट सेटली इज द ओनली एक्टिव वॉल कैन इन एंटार्टिका सो माउंट सेटली इज द हाइएस्ट डॉर्मेंट वॉल कैन एंड माउंट एरेबस इज द मोस्ट एक्टिव वॉल कैन एंड एंटार्टिका सेकंड इज रॉन्ग आंसर इज ए वन ओनली क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी वन वॉट वेयर डज स्पेसिफिक ओशन एंड अटलांटिक ओशन मीट सो ऑब्वियसली दे विल मीट अराउंड सदर्न मोस्ट टिप ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका सो आंसर एर इज सी केप हॉर्न सो केप हॉर्न इज द प्लेस वेयर पैसिफिक ओशन एंड अटलांटिक ओशन मीट एट द सदर्न मोस्ट टिप ऑफ साउथ अमेरिका एंड अटलांटिक ओशन एंड इंडियन ओशन मीट्स एट केप अगुल हॉस क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी टू कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स एवरेज हाइट ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट्स अबाउ द सी लेवल इज ग्रेटर दैन द एवरेज डेप्थ ऑफ ओशियंस बिलो द सी लेवल्स दिस इज रॉन्ग एंटार्क्टिका हेज द हाइएस्ट एवरेज एलिवेशन ऑफ ऑल द कॉन्टिनेंट्स दिस इज करेक्ट सो आंसर एर इज बी सो एवरेज डेप्थ ऑफ ओशन बिलो सी लेवल इज फोर थाउजेंड मीटर विच इज ग्रेटर दैन द एवरेज हाइट ऑफ कॉन्टिनेंट्स अबाउ सी लेवल विच इज लेस दैन वन किलोमीटर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी थ्री विच इज द डीपेस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द इंडियन ओशन माइट पीपल माइट थिंक मरियाना ट्रेंच बट दैट इज इन पैसिफिक ओशन हेयर द आंसर इज डाया मंटीना ट्रेंच सो आंसर इज इज सी सो डीपेस्ट पॉइंट ऑफ इंडियन ओशन इज डाया मंटीना ट्रेंच एंड सुंडा ट्रेंच इज द सेकेंड डीपेस्ट पॉइंट एंड मरियाना ट्रेंच इज द डीपेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड ओशियन इट इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली टेन थाउजेंड नाइन हंड्रेड किलोमीटर्स ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी फोर मैगिनॉट लाइन इज द बाउंड्री बिटवीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग टू कंट्रीज सो दे आर द बाउंड्रीज बिटवीन फ्रांस एंड जर्मनी ओके सो मैगिनॉट लाइन इज बिटवीन फ्रांस एंड जर्मनी एंड ओडर नीस लाइन इज बिटवीन जर्मनी एंड पोलैंड सो आंसर एयर इज बी क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी फाइव स्कैंडीनेवियन कंट्रीज इंक्लूड सो दे इंक्लूड नॉर्वे स्वीडन डेनमार्क ऑल दीज आर देयर सो आंसर एयर इज डी ऑल ऑफ द अबव क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी सिक्स विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंट्रीज आर कंप्लीटली सराउंडेड बाय अदर कंट्रीज ओके सो दिस इज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन लिसोथो इज कंप्लीटली सराउंडेड बाय साउथ अफ्रीका वेटिकन सिटी सैन मरीनो आर कंप्लीटली सराउंडेड बाय इटली स्वाजीलैंड शेयर्स अ बॉर्डर विद मोजाम्बिक सो आंसर एयर इज बी दैट इज वन एंड टू ओनली सो ओनली कंट्रीज सराउंडेड बाय अदर कंट्रीज आर
एक्सियल टेल्ट ऑफ द अर्थ यस एलिप्टिकल ऑर्बिट ऑफ द अर्थ दिस इज रॉन्ग आंसर एयर इज सॉरी यस आंसर विल बी वन एंड टू सो ड्यूरिंग इकोनॉक्स सन इज ओवर हेड अब द इक्वेटर एंड देर आर इक्वल डेज एंड नाइट्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड दिस हैपन्स डू टू रिवॉल्यूशन विच कॉजेज डिफरेंट सीजन्स टेल्ट ऑफ द अर्थ एक्सेस विच कॉजेज सन टू अपियर ओवर द इक्वेटर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सिक्सटी नाइन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स देर आर ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम जोन इन द वर्ल्ड देर आर मोर देन ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम जोन इन द वर्ल्ड विच आर डिटरमाइंड बाई बॉर्डर ऑफ द कंट्रीज विच डेविएट्स ऑन द मेरेडियन सो दिस इज रॉन्ग ईस्ट टाइम जोन कवर्स फिफ्टीन डिग्रीज ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूड लाइक दिस इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग कंट्रीज लाइक चाइना हैज ओनली वन टाइम जोन विच कवर्स मोर देन फिफ्टी डिग्री ऑफ लॉन्गिट्यूड सो आंसर एयर इज डी नाइदर वन नॉट टू देर आर मोर देन ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम जोन एज एज दे आर डिटरमाइंड बाई द बॉर्डर्स ऑफ द कंट्रीज विच डेविएट्स ऑन द मेरेडियंस and countries like china has only one time zone which covers more than 15 degrees of latitudes question number 170 consider the following statements africa is separated from asia by red sea yes this is correct africa touches asia at two points uh it touches at three points rather so answer here is a one only so africa touches europe and asia at three points strait of gibraltar in the northwest Swiss Canal in northeast and Strait of Bab el Mandeb in the east. So the second statement should be where Europe and Asia both. Question number one seventy one. Which of the following is the largest bay in the world? Answer is R Bay, Bay of Bengal. That is the largest bay of the world. So Bay of Bengal is the largest bay in the entire world. Question number one seventy two. Formosa or Taiwan Strait connects which of the following? So they connect East China Sea with South China Sea. So answer here is A. That is the Formosa or Taiwan Strait connects East China Sea with South China Sea. Question number one seventy three. Consider the following statements. All dwarf planets have moons. This is wrong. Absolutely wrong. Even regular planets like Mercury, Venus do not have moons. Moons do not have their own light. This is absolutely correct because moons like planets reflect the light of the sun. So answer here is B two only. So all dwarf planets do not have moons. Only Eris have one moon and Pluto have five moons and Homia has two moons. And moons do reflect the light of the sun. They do not have their light of their own. Question number one seventy four. Consider the following statements. Lunar eclipse occurs when sun is between the earth and the moon. No, no. When earth is between sun and the moon, then you will have lunar eclipse. So this is wrong. Uh, moon's orbit is inclined at five degrees to the earth orbit. This is correct. So answer here is B. Two only. Last question for this lesson. Consider the following statements. Africa is the most tropical of all continent. Yes, all the three tropic of Cancer, tropic of Capricorn, equator passes most of the areas under the tropics. So answer this is correct. One third of Africa is covered with deserts. This is also correct. So answer is C, both one and two. So Africa has equator, tropic of Cancer, tropic of Capricorn. So obviously the large area of the continent is tropical, and Africa is covered in the north with the largest desert in the world, Sahara Desert. And it has Kalahari Desert, Namib Desert in the south, and Botswana, Nigeria, and other countries. So thank you for watching this lesson. Have an awesome day. Hey guys, what's up? So we continue our discussion with the MCQs. Consider the following statements: Cooper Belt lies beyond Neptune's orbit. Okay, Cooper Belt contains all the officially recognized. So first statement is correct, but Cooper Belt contains all the officially recognized dwarf planets. This statement is wrong. So answer here is A. Uh, so Cooper Belt is a belt beyond Neptune's orbit, consisting of remnants of the solar system, and it is home to three officially recognized dwarf planets: Pluto, Homia, and Make Make. Question number one seventy seven, which uh, is the only continent that lies in all the four hemispheres. Uh, so here, answer here is C. So Africa is the only continent which lies in all the four hemispheres. So one is like the north, uh, north south, other is east west. So north south is decided by equator, and prime meridian decided the east west. So Africa में से चारों पास होंगे. So answer here is C. So equator and prime meridian passes through it. Question number one seventy eight, which of the following river crosses equator twice? This is very important question. Uh, only Congo River in the world crosses equator twice. So answer here is B, Congo. So Congo is the only river in the world that crosses equator twice. Important question for trivia. With reference to Great Barrier Reef, consider the following statements. It is the world's largest coral reef, coral reef system. This is correct. It can be seen from outer space. This is also correct. It is presently threatened due to coral coral bleaching. This is also correct. So answer here is D, all of the above. So, Great Barrier Reef, which is the World Heritage Site, has been threatened due to coral bleaching, a result of increasing temperature of ocean caused by global warming. And coral bleaching occurs when algae is removed from coral polyps, which otherwise have a very symbiotic relationship. Question one eighty: Which of the following countries of Africa is known as the Nation of Thousand Hills? So, Rwanda is known as the Nation of Thou Land of Thousand Hills. So, answer here is B. 
रिसेंटली इट वॉज ए न्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ द केगाली एग्रीमेंट केगाली इज़ द कैपिटल ऑफ रवांडा एंड इट वॉज एन अमेंडमेंट टू द मॉन्ट्रियल प्रोटोकॉल विच इज़ एन इंटरनेशनल ट्रीटी टू फेज आउट ओजोन डिपिटिंग सब्सटेंसिस फ्रॉम द एटमोसफेयर एंड केगाली एग्रीमेंट एम्स टू रिड्यूस यूज ऑफ हाइड्रो फ्लोरो कार्बन बाई टी टू एटी फाइव परसेंट टिल टू थाउजेंड फोर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एटी वन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग पेयर्स गोल्ड कोस्ट इज घाना दिस इज करेक्ट ग्रीन कोस्ट इज गिनी दिस इज रॉन्ग सो आंसर हेयर इज ए वन ओनली दैट इज घाना इज गोल्ड कोस्ट ग्रीन कोस्ट इज सीरा लियोन एंड लाइबेरिया स्लेव कोस्ट इज टोगो बैन एंड नाइजीरिया एंड आइवरी कोस्ट इज कोटा डी आईवीर सो द नेम इज ओनली द सेम ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एटी टू कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स हॉर्न ऑफ अफ्रीका इज अ गल्फ इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट अफ्रीका इट इज बेसिकली पेनसोला इट इज नॉट अ गल्फ एंड इट इज कंप्राइज ऑफ फोर कंट्रीज सीड बोलते हैं उसको सीड एस से सोमालिया ई से एरिट्रिया ई से इथोपिया डी से जिबोती सो इट डिनोट फोर कंट्रीज दट इज सीड कंट्रीज सोमालिया इथोपिया एरिट्रिया एंड जिबोती सो हॉर्न ऑफ अफ्रीका इज अ पेनसोला इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट अफ्रीका सो आंसर इज डी इन आइर वन नॉट टू सो हॉर्न ऑफ अफ्रीका इज अ पेनसोला इन नॉर्थ ईस्ट अफ्रीका एंड इट डिनोट फोर कंट्रीज दीज आर द सीड कंट्रीज क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एटी थ्री कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स मोर दैन नाइन्टी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द मास ऑफ द सोलर सिस्टम इज इन द सन सो दिस इज करेक्ट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द सन एंड द अर्थ इज टेन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल यूनिट वाई विल इट बी टेन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल यूनिट एन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल यूनिट इज डिफाइंड एज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन अर्थ एंड सन दैट इज ऑब्वियसली वन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल यूनिट सो आंसर हेयर इज ए दैट इज वन ओनली सो डिस्टेंस बिटवीन सन एंड अर्थ इज वन फिफ्टी मिलियन किलोमीटर्स क्वेश्चन नंबर वन एटी फोर Uh, which of the following river forms the northern plains of india indus ganga brahmaputra obviously all of them form the northern plains of india so answer here is all of the above so they are they are related to alluvial deposits just remember this term question 185 why are the northern plains uh, highly populated they are very populated because of the alluvial soil because they have alluvial soil they are very fertile because they are very fertile they can support a high, huge population so answer here is c due to fertile land available for cultivation uh, the most thickly populated region of the india is this belt which usually consists of your up bihar etc question number 186 consider the following pairs okay uh, kimberley plateau in south africa this is wrong it is in australia Katanga Plateau is in Democratic Republic of Congo. This is correct. Kimberley is a city in South Africa, but Kimberley Plateau is in Australia, and Kimberley is very famous for mining diamonds. So answer here is B. That is two only. So Kimberley Plateau is in Australia, and the city Kimberley in South Africa is rich for mining diamonds, but it is not Kimberley Plateau. Question number one eighty seven. Consider the following statements. Limpopo River crosses the Tropic of Capricorn twice. Uh, yes, this is correct. Uruguay in South America lies entirely south of Tropic of Capricorn. This is also correct. So answer here is C, both one and two. So Limpopo River in Africa crosses the Tropic of Cancer twice, Tropic of Capricorn twice, and Uruguay in South America lies entirely south of Tropic of Capricorn. Question one eighty eight. Consider the following statements. Uh, Brazil forms a common boundary with all the countries of South America. It is not uh, related to the Ecuador and Chile, so this is wrong. It is not as being a boundary with Ecuador and Chile. Brazil is the only country through which Ecuador and Tropic of Capricorn pass through. This statement is absolutely correct. This is the only country in the world through which equator and tropic of Capricorn pass because it is huge. So answer here is B two only. Question number one eighty nine. Which of the following forests are called as monsoon forests? So tropical deciduous forests, which are in abundance in India, so they are called as monsoon forest. Uh, so tropical deciduous forests are called as monsoon forest because they shed deciduous means like cutting off, leaving, okay, falling off. So they shed their leaves during the dry season and bear leaves at the start of rainy season or the monsoon season. Question number one ninety. Delta is a triangular land formed at the mouth of a river. Uh, this is wrong. So delta is a piece of land that is formed at the confluence of a river and a sea, which is the mouth of the river. But it is not necessarily triangular. This is wrong. So Sundarbans formed at the mouth of the river Brahmaputra is the world's largest delta. Uh, so again, it is formed by Ganga and Brahmaputra. It is called as Ganga Brahmaputra delta. It is not alone Brahmaputra. So answer here is D. Neither one nor two. Okay. Question number one ninety one. Arrange the following cities in north south direction. Uh, so Pyongyang is the capital of North Korea. Uh, then it is the northernmost, obviously. Then Damascus is the capital of Syria. So that is the second number one. Then Cairo is the capital of Egypt. And Peru is obviously like way way south. So Lima is there. So answer is three two one four. So three is uh, Pyongyang is the capital of North Korea. Damascus is Syria. Cairo in Egypt and Lima in Peru. Question number one ninety two. Consider the following pairs. Atacama Desert is in Argentina. It is in Chile and Patagonia Desert is in Argentina. So both are reversed. So answer here is D. Neither one nor two. Atacama Desert is in Chile and Patagonia Desert is in Argentina in South America. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन नाइन्टी थ्री विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लैनेट्स आर वर्ल्ड इज आइस जाइंट्स सो हेयर द आंसर इज यूरेनस एंड नेपच्यून सो टू एंड थ्री दे आर वर्ल्ड इज आइस जाइंट्स बिकॉज देर इंटीरियर्स आर प्राइमरीली कंपोज ऑफ आइस एंड रॉक्स सो सैटन इज नॉट आइस जाइंट तो आंसर हेयर इज सी टू एंड थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर वन नाइन्टी फोर कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स द शेड ऑफ अ मैन कॉस्ट बाय द सन चेंज इज द सन मूव्स इट इज ड्यू टू द रोटेशन ऑफ द अर्थ इट इज नॉट बिकॉज ऑफ द मूवमेंट ऑफ द सन शेड ऑफ कास्ट बाय द सन इज शॉर्टेस्ट एड नून एंड लॉन्गेस्ट एड सनराइज यू कैन एक्सपेरिमेंट इट योर सेल्फ इफ सन इज ओवर हेड दैन यू हैव अ वेरी स्मॉल शेडो बट इफ देर इज सनराइज और सनसेट दैन यू हैव अ ह्यूज शेडो सो आंसर इज बी टू ओनली द शेड ऑफ अ मैन इज कास्ट बाय द सन ओके एंड द शेड ऑफ कास्ट बाय द सन इज शॉर्टेस्ट एड नून एंड लॉन्गेस्ट एड सनराइज और सनसेट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन नाइन्टी फाइव अरेंज द फॉलोइंग सिटीज फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू द ईस्ट so stockholm vienna and kiev kiev is the capital of ukraine stockholm is the capital of sweden vienna is the capital of austria so sweden is uh, there okay since they are asking from west to east so western most here is vienna okay so that is uh, so vienna is the western most and it is in austria then slightly east to it is stockholm in sweden and kiev is like very close to russia so answer here is 2 then 1 then 3 so answer is c So cities from west to east are Vienna and Austria, Stockholm and Sweden, Kiev and Ukraine. Question number one ninety six. Why are coniferous forests cone shaped? They are cone shaped to allow snow to glide off its branches. Otherwise, they will die because of the bear. So much weight is bearing on them because of the snow, and they will just like fall off these branches. So coniferous forests are found in very cold areas covered by snow, and the trees are adapted to the harsh climate and with its conical shape to allow snow to glide off its branches very easily. Question number one ninety seven. Pemba Islands belong to which of the following? So Pemba Islands which are known as the Green Island it is a part of Zanzibar archipelago on the eastern coast of Africa so answer here is C Africa so they are also known as Green Island and they are the part of the Zanzibar archipelago on the eastern coast of Africa question number 198 consider the following statements earth is warmer when it is closest to the sun so this is correct northern hemisphere experiences winter when the earth is closest to the sun uh this is correct both these statements are actually correct so answer here is C both 1 and 2 So the farthest point of the Earth from the Sun is called as aphelion, and it occurs on fourth July, which is summer in northern hemisphere. And the nearest position of the Earth from the Sun is called as perihelion, and occurs on January third, which is winter in northern hemisphere. And they happen because of the elliptical shape of the orbit. And change in seasons are caused by revolution of the Earth and its tilt on the axis. Question one ninety nine. Consider the following statements. North Pole is located in the middle of Arctic Ocean. Yes this is correct south pole is located in the middle of a landmass but north pole is located in the middle of a ocean India has no arctic research station this is wrong Himadri is India's first arctic research station located in Spitsbergen island of Svalbard archipelago of Norway so answer here is A one only so north pole is located in the middle of the arctic ocean and like south pole which is located in the middle of a landmass it is antarctica and Himadri is India's first arctic research station located in Spitsbergen island in Svalbard Norway and last question for the day arrange the following planets in increasing order of their size uh, mercury is the smallest obviously goes without saying then you have mars then you have venus then you have earth so answer here is 1 4 2 3 3 and obviously gas giants mein sabse bada jupiter hota hai usse chhota saturn hota hai usse chhota uranus usse chhota neptune so let us see the entire solar system mercury is the smallest planet mars is the second smallest planet venus comes on third number earth is on fourth number neptune is on fifth number uranus saturn and jupiter okay so you can just reverse this order and you will find the size so thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day